All right, YouTube. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm finally able to get the XRL, the, the Extreme Rugby League, back online. Uh, it's been a uh, while. Like I said, I wasn't able to get back into my old Xbox account. So I had to uh, I had to upgrade on, on my new account with the rugby uh, rugby league live four and i was able to go back in and recreate um my original xfl with a few minor tweaks <laughs> but i was able to go back and bring back the teams uh, as you see we're able to get the killer bees back online with a little bit of change to the uh uniform just a little, just a little bit, just a little bit of a change. Uh, and uh, on uh, Live 4, I mean, you can even make your own stadium. And I'm like, wow, man. You can see the Killer B got a nice stadium. Uh, now with um, some of the stadiums, um downloaded some some stadiums and then i made uh some changes some tweaks a little minor here a little minor there depending on the on the stadium and then there was a couple of them, the stadiums that i did myself and um but uh and as you can see um looking at the rosters of the killer b we are uh, seeing their uh, number one draft pick for the new season as you probably already saw in the earlier videos before I had to uh, cut out and then you also see players from last season that's still on this roster so I was able to go back and get all the names of the players some of them is probably gonna look different some of them um, uh, country that they rep that they come from it might be a little different but other than that i was pretty much able to put in all the players that we had before plus uh the new players that are coming in from uh supposed to be this year year two draft that we did earlier before i got uh, booted off my uh, my uh, old account We changed their logo a little bit. You can see all the players. We, we even got a, a hung up, uh, uh, one player that was injured and still injured from last season. And we got the Dolphins and their logo back. Got their uh, they, uh, uniforms back. They got their new uh, uh, road uniforms. Got their they stadium. Check out the Dolphin Stadium. Gulfport. I guess people had to walk to the stadium. <laughs> I guess I should have put a road, a street or something. But that's a nice stadium. I like that stadium. Really cool. And now we got um, a roster, as you see, their number one draft pick for this year. And on the top, uh, their number one draft pick from last season. And you got the MV, the Leeds MVP from last season, you are Taffy the Zard. And then uh, and you got D Boy, he's still he's back. Uh, uh, Backhouse is back. Yeah, and uh, Bobby the Strange is back. Uh, and, uh, the Fabulous Phenom is back. So, yeah, we got uh, a lot of these guys back. They are. Uh, 
They ready to make another run for the title. They came up a little short last year. And the Dolphins are determined to win it all this year. <laughs> yeah, they are determined to win it all this year. Now we're looking at the Blazers. As um, they was able to keep their same uh, logo, but I gave them a second logo to go on their uh, uniform. You know how they, and uh, you see they are uh, old uniforms. And then we're gonna look at their stadium. There's a lot going on in this stadium right here. A lot going on right here. But I like it. I like it. Now, uh, as we go uh, with this dynasty, we'll be, uh, be making upgrades as we go on uh, all the stadiums. As, as you know, we're going to be adding uniforms, so on and so forth. Our stairs are getting bigger. And, uh, that was uh, Blazer Stadium. Now we're looking at uh, their number one draft pick from last year on crack. Then I don't know where this guy came from, but he was on the team. And then their number one draft pick from uh, this season, season two, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Jr. So he claims <laughs> it hadn't been confirmed. Then we got uh, Leslie here who was on the practice squad last year. And you know, they got the guys back. O'Brien, they got Purple Hay, the rival to the fabulous female with the Dolphins. Got JoJo Smith, the brother of the, uh, the uh, championship MVP. And like I said, we was able to put, put these teams back together. And also made the necessary changes that we made during the uh, off season. Uh, players uh, had to go into the expansion draft because of the the uh, new team that came in. And then we also had a four round draft during the off season as well. Blazers. Now we have the uh, defending champion, the Nashville uh, Jets. As you see, they have a new, uh, different logo, and they have uh, several logos. You see their championship uh, uniform. Uh, every time a team wins the championship, they get a championship uh, uniform. And as you can see, they got the biggest. Uh, stadium because they're in the biggest market but the stadium is not quite complete so they're not going to be playing in it uh, this season there's some, some stuff that I want to tweak on this and I didn't even really have time to do it because I was like ready to get this thing going and so on and so forth and um but as you can see, it's a nice stadium. I like it. I like it. And now you're looking at John Smith, the number one draft pick overall in year one. And then you're looking at their number two draft pick from, my, uh, from this past draft. And I think that's their number two draft pick. And Looking at the rest of the defending champions from last year. Alloway Lacey. All the, the rest of the game. little bit of a static going on here. I hope y'all don't pick it up. 
but my headphones kind of, you know, static on you know I me. Mean? All right, now we're looking at the new team to the to the uh, league, the expansion team, the Wombats of uh, Woodstock, Georgia. Didn't know there was a another Woodstock bitch. <laughs> And as you can see, they have a, a small field. I must uh, really talk about or brag about compared to uh, the other teams. But they're a the new team on the block. They're just getting started. And this uh, stadium is going to, like you say, it's going to grow. And we're going to add some things. I think the stadium got more road. We got more road in our stadium. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's um, yeah, if we gonna, uh, like I said, we gonna expand a little bit as, as the season goes, as the uh, dynasty goes. All right, now uh, we're looking at their number one draft pick. And their number two draft pick. And then the uh, their number one pick from the, uh, the uh, practice squad. And another player from the practice squad. And another player from the practice squad. And another player from the practice squad. And, uh, no, uh, uh, I do believe, uh, Bane came from the expansion draft. And, uh, Tyson was a draft pick. It was number three draft pick. And Vlad was the number four draft pick, I do believe. And, uh, like I said, we had, uh, so, you know, with a, a new team, you know, you got expansion draft. Where a lot of their players come from. And now we're going to show you the new rules. See, this one I really like about uh, four. You can make up your own, how to play your own rules. So the XFL, you know, we're going to do things differently. We're going to have a, uh, the standard uh, match lineup. Uh, tries are five points. Five points, not six. Field goals, if you ever kick one, it's three points. I wanted it to be four, but three is all they would give me. Um, penalty kicks, no, no, are two points. Conversion points are four points. That's right, four points on the, uh, extra, on the conversion. And yes, we're gonna have uh, bonus tries and bonus try points. Um, the way I got it set up, um, everything, and you know, let's uh, move further down here. Uh, like tackle sets, we're gonna have a. Uh, um, I moved it up to eight. I moved it up to eight, um, and then on the conversions, we do drop kicks instead of a place kick. Uh, I, I, um, and. Um, the team that scores will no longer receive the ball on on the kickoff, if you will. Um, the team that gave up the points will now receive the ball on the kickoff. And I, I did this to try to uh, uh, up the scoring. I'm trying to increase scoring and and not have it like at the end of the game where a team scores and then they get the ball back, <laughs> you know. And and kind of run out the clock from from the other team that might be able to score or either tie the game or win the game. So so they have to kick it off and let that other team get the chance to to, to see if they can score in the last minutes of the game. So uh, that's why I wanted to change the uh, the kickoff. So it's totally different from. Uh, 
the other league, I think. I don't know. Um, I, I only played, like, last season we played by, was it NRL rules? But this season we're going to play by XRL rules. <laughs> and I like that. I really do like that. That's cool. That is really cool. And now we are gonna set up the league. And unfortunately, I don't set it up for like one year at a time. And as far as I know, I don't know, maybe it's me. But like I said, uh, XRL rules, uh, it's, uh, five teams, no extra time. So I don't care about ties. A season, uh, let me see, we gonna play each other twice. And we, five teams, we just gonna have a championship game. We're not going to have a playoff. We're not going to start a playoff season until uh, next season when we expand to 16. <laughs> As they call it, knockout. We're just going to have a grand final. And then we're just going to use the uh, stuff I wish I could. And I'm not good at making logos. I ain't figured that out yet. So, uh, we just gonna have a X as the logo. Um, and I guess this is, so that's the, uh, the uh, setup. Oh. And well, now we are uh, putting the teams in. Just no uh, And we put the teams in according to how they finish uh, champions championship team, the runner-up, then the third place, fourth place, and then the new team. And, like, when we do that, that's how we're gonna set it up each each time according to how they finish uh, from top to bottom. And now we're looking at the rounds, or as those, you know, weeks, um, the schedule for the season and we're going to start off with the Dolphins against the Wombats and the Blazers and the uh, and the other team that I missed because I was talking too slow <laughs> and then like we said we're on uh, week 3 and as you can see since we got 5 teams they're going to be a team that always get a bye and all the way through round 4 we got round 5 we are going to have an all-star uh, game after round five. Uh, and then the second half of the season, round six. It's basically going to repeat. It's just the same schedule that it did at the first five weeks. It's just going to flip home team. So, just taking you a look at it all. Uh, 10 weeks everybody's playing twice playing each other twice what's what's that 8 games yeah and you can see the uh, the uh, ladder that's how they finished last year with the new team then we got to get used to figuring out the stats, what all these different uh, stats mean. All right, that's it. Um, I want to thank you for uh, checking this out. And like I said, I am ready to go with this dynasty. Man, I can't wait to get this started. I've been uh, wanting to get back on the rugby for a while. But uh, hey, we got it now and we're ready to roll. And we want to thank you for uh, checking us out. And we'll see you at the opening uh, week of the XRL, the Extreme Rugby League.